Black om. Really? This is fucking pause on me. No. Where's the fucking. Stop. No. I love all bitches. Brown square over bitches. Bitch, poor slave bitches. Smart, dumb, crazy bitches. Rude, horny, dirty bitches. <laughs> oh my god, it's Valentine's Day. No, not really. Well, it is, but I mean, like, <laughs> there's. JX is celebrating Valentine's Day, guys. Mod Mark totally fucked a few bitches today. For sure. And then he's like, oh shit, man. I'm supposed to do an update for RuneScape. Oh, well, we'll just make it so. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, these things you can basically buy on so or whatnot. Or you get them while skilling. A little bit of an actual update, I guess. I'm but yeah, whenever you skill and you get these things, they go into inventory. Why do those weird clan avatar things for the ang asshole orcs, whatever, right? Why do they go on the ground when you kill things or when you skill? Like, why doesn't it go in inventory? Like, I don't, I don't understand this shit. Like, they have the power right here to make something go in your inventory, but instead, they make those orcs go on the ground, which is, like, retarded. But anyways, I just want to answer a few questions from, I guess, my last video talking about uh, 07 Scape, I guess. Um, so, yeah, from what I know, it'll be open up tomorrow, the voting and stuff like that. I know that they're asking for a lot of votes. That's first what I kind of thought as well. Um, I mean, I guess they kind of told us, well, they told Matt and he told uh, a few of us, um, about how many people are, they, I mean, I'm not sure if they're pulling the numbers out of their ass, but here's some facts for you guys if you want to know them. I don't really think Jax will care if I tell you guys, but, um, so, apparently Jax has 1.2 million members per month right now. Does not look like it at all, unless people literally just don't play. Uh, I guess that's including bots and legit players. I, I have no idea how that number is there. I, I really, truly don't believe it, but that's what they said. Uh, and they have also said that in total... To, they said for the 07 scape, they want to open up 50 worlds, which is like 50 servers kind of thing. It's going to cost a million dollars of printing. So that's, I, I don't know where the fuck these numbers are coming from. That's just what I've heard. That's why membership's going to be kind of expensive for the first few months, probably, I'm guessing, because they don't want to, you know, do something and then actually end up losing money off of it, I guess. So, you know, that's... But then again, business is always a risk. But anyway, so this fucking thing is in the way. I hate this goddamn thing. So anyways, to answer the questions, guys, um, this account, I will not be quitting it. I just uh, don't think I'll be playing it as much anymore. Um, it's just not exactly the same as kind of how it used to be, I guess you could say. With, with all the buying spins and stuff like that, um, and I guess, like, it, it, Jax has just done so many things in this game that just make people like me that are going for experience a little bit confused. Um, I'll give you guys an example. Uh, effigies, nerfing that shit. Uh, people got 200 mil Slayer with effigies, giving them, like, I don't know, fucking like 100 million runecrafting experience. The most people I got effigies from Slayer actually using on Slayer back in the day. Um, Suomi and all the other people. Um, and then they took them away, and it's just like, I've already talked about this before in my, one of my videos before. Like, that literally just took away hour, like, thousands, well, probably about 1,000 hours away from me training Slayer, right? So I literally lost a 1,000 effigies because I didn't train Slayer too much when effigies were out. They took them out, you know, and now I'm below 1,000 hours of what someone else was if they got to Windrow Slayer then. So, example, I don't know, Dragon Sense, let's just say. He got to Windrow Slayer whenever there was effigies, and I didn't. So it's just like, that's a huge update that um, I missed that on, and you know I mean, things like that. I just hate for competitive people like me at least um, that want to like get I guess two hundred stats. Um, the worst thing you want to see is when Jax like either nerf something like the ice fiends lately, um, which I I mean I'm kind of happy for me because I don't need any attack experience really, but um, <laughs> for other people it's really unfair. Uh, and you know EOC also fucked up a lot of people with all these stats. So I mean I guess I could say I don't like change too much. I don't think most people do that play RuneScape at least. Trust me, you can tell, especially by being a video maker, you can tell people don't like anything else. Unless it has something to do with sex. If I upload a porno, you guys won't be mad. You guys will be like, yeah, more of this shit. But yeah, as for the botting on 07 Scape and the dicing and stuff like that, I mean, from what they've said, they're going to have zero tolerance on dicing. Um, so I guess if you dice, like I said, uh, you're going to get banned. I'm um, right clicking. I'm so used to Age of Vampires or not. You right click to like actually move your characters instead of left click. Left click like selects the players. But any, I'm so used to that game right now. I haven't played much uh, off RuneScape the past few days. I've just done my daily challenges a few times. I don't know how many of you guys like play other games, but like you never. Like, I just recently noticed how small the RuneScape screen actually is. Like I just played full screen Age of Vampires for a few days, and now looking at this, like every time I log back on RuneScape, I feel like my character is zoomed out really far. I don't know. If that happens with you guys when you play other games, you log on RuneScape. It's just like, what the fuck am I playing on? Like my fist. Well, I guess my if I, if I put my palm on the screen, it might be bigger than my RuneScape screen right now. Let me try. Yeah, it actually fucking is. 
Well, I can't get the edges, but okay, anyways, you guys can't see what the fuck I'm doing. So anyways, uh, back on the discussion of 2007's Gape. I said that in a very gay way. You guys probably all just cringe. Oh, I got two more hearts, I just noticed. Nice, I got five. Congratulations, you found some Valentine's hearts. Forever alone, though. So I guess to answer some of your guys' I totally clicked. Your guys' questions. Um yeah, in 07 Scape guys, you guys will you guys won't be reset. You just you're gonna have to start with a brand new account. Um just like any like it's just like you're creating another account basically. You'll still have this account right here. Like I'll still have all this experience. I just I don't think I can log on this account on the 07 Scape at all. Um I'm actually more than positive you can't. It's it's basically it's basically putting a private server. Um but yeah. It's gonna be interesting to see how many people quit private servers and go play 07 Scape, I guess. Because I mean, no matter what you do, you know that RuneScape is always gonna be the the real one. If you go on a private server, it nothing feels as good. You get a 99 stat. It's like you took two seconds, stuff like that, right? I guess bobbers would enjoy uh, that crap a lot. I don't know. But yeah, you guys would be surprised how many people actually are starting to play private servers and how many people uh, have been playing them and basically quit. This fucking thing is always in the way. But yeah, to the best of my knowledge, you guys, we will get like a brand new account. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how they're going to do it. I mean, I, I, there's still a billion questions you want to ask. Apparently, it's going to take them eight weeks to actually put it into the game, from what I've heard. You know, all these numbers are just from what I heard. They're not a complete fact. So if the voting does, I don't know, let's just let's say it ends in February. We won't get it to like April, so close to summertime, I guess. Yeah, like April 15th, and then plus Jags, eight, eight weeks equals like 16 weeks. So around, yeah, around summertime, we'll get it. Though I would say summertime is probably one of the best times to release it because, I mean, that's when everyone has a lot of free time, and I'm sure that people would probably come back and play that crap. But, yeah, anyways, um, I mean, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet, depending on videos. Uh, if I'm going to play it, I'm going to make videos on this or the 07 scape. I guess I'll see by the ratings of the videos, and, um, you know, I'll just see what's going on. I'll probably end up just playing both, but uh, I'm going to tell you I'll probably enjoy playing on 07 scape a little bit more than this one. Now, I do understand they are kind of splitting the community, I guess you can kind of say. I mean, I know a lot of top page players or a lot of high experience players that play this game probably will be quite pissed because it's like, I mean, they did all that work and then it's just like, well, now no one's here to even see me uh, get my experience, I guess you can say, right? They won't be uh, as well known. I don't know what you want to call it, but I mean, to those people, I just say, you know what? It's a game. You're supposed to be playing it because you're having fun. Don't feel like your life is fucking falling apart because they're splitting the community or some shit. I enjoy playing on this um, server, whatever, o EOC, I guess you can say. So I don't really have any regrets if I, well, I don't, hopefully I don't get banned, but I mean, like, I don't really care if I don't play on it anymore. I mean, I did it myself. And I, I achieved it, and I, I liked it, and ooh, okay, we're gonna totally, I'm, why am I on Lunar, so what the fucking, birth rub, let's go. Yeah, just think about how much fun you can have on 07 Scape, I mean, I, I, I'm still not deciding if I want to do Slayer first, or Runecrafting, I know Runecrafting would be kind of annoying, because you're gonna have to get your own essence, probably. Maybe I'll do some type of uh, an event with my with my uh, YouTube subscribers, we'll, uh, we'll mine essence, and we'll give it to Alcan for free, there we go. Now that, that's an awesome idea, yeah. I guess what I actually could do is kind of a cool idea. For anyone that gives me essence, I would kind of put them on like a little, oh, sure, convert. Um, I put them on a little list, and whenever I start making nature runes, I'll give them back like one nature and per essence, maybe, just so kind of helps me out when I'm first uh, going and room crafting, because I'm going to hate mining my own S. Um, let me go here and cut some more ivy. I think this is my clan world. Let me see if that's buff. Come on, use. Nice. I'm going to get bonus experience now. Look at that little stuff around my feet. It should glow in a few seconds. Come on. Show me that I'm on my bonus experience. There we go. 360 experience per IV. And I got 630k Slayer experience today. Or overall experience today. It's not too bad. But there's going to be a lot of discussion probably on how 07 Scape is going to work. If there's going to be Gower's Dungeon and stuff like that. Um, I hope there's no Dragon Claws. I, I honestly don't mind Gower's Dungeon. I think it's a great way to make money for a lot of people. And at the same time, AGS is not really better than a whip. If you're going to go PKing and you're doing a death match, unless you get KO, you're going to be probably winning with the whip because the whip just hits so much more consistent than an AGS. Um, I mean, that's kind of the, one of those nice little... Because um, I, mean, I got to say, I didn't play too much when I used to, when people used to use like a, a DDS and a whip at, you know, versus, versus like a, another DDS and a whip. Or what else was their spec? I guess a, a dragon skimmy. That was more for the peers though. But yeah, I mean, or D-Long actually used to hit pretty high too. I was always those people that wore D-Long because I didn't do the quest yet, not because it, it had a good special sometimes, but yeah, anyways. But yeah, personally, I wouldn't mind if there was God Wars Dungeon. It opens up a lot more, you know, things that people can do. Um, and obviously, it's kind of nice to have Bando's armor, I guess you could say, and Armadillo and all that crap. Now, I don't think that 2007, any time in that year, uh, Smoking Kills came out. So Slayer could honestly be one of, the, one of those very, very slow skills again. 
Um, I think whenever I did Slayer, I, I got like, I think when I first started doing it without any type of Slayer Helm and that crap, I think I literally got like 10k Slayer experience an hour. So that shit is going to be very fucking slow. And whoever gets like Abyssal Demons first is going to be one fucking rich. Like, I swear someone's going to trade a fucking a whip for a party hat. At, at, at least one point, whoever gets 85 Slayer first is definitely going to get that, um, which is quite sweet to see. What's really going to be interesting, though, is just how money is going to come into the game. Like, I mean, the only way money is really going to come into the game, I think, is going to be from high alc for the first quite a you know for the first while at least. Because, um, like, how else do we honestly make money? You kill a man for two GP? But yeah, I, don't know, I just gotta say, I'm really excited for all this kind of stuff. I mean, I, it gives it gives me a little more motivation. To, I guess log back on RuneScape. Maybe I'm just going through a phase where I just don't really feel like playing RuneScape at all right now. Um, but I'm I'm literally been doing Age of Vampires for the past like yeah, a good week or so. But yeah, as I said, I gotta finish off attack, and I'm quite close to farming as well, so that's kind of nice to have two more. I think that's gonna be six skills. Let me see. One, a two, um, three, and and four, five, six. Yeah, six. Can't even fucking remember how many two hundred mils I have. <laughs> Holy crap! It was gonna probably end the video there. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I guess you, I can say I still have my voice. Still kind of it's quite bad. I have a little bit of a cold kind of thing. Um, so hopefully it doesn't annoy you guys too. I just get more. Where's my... Don't you normally get spin tickets? Now you're giving me these stupid heart things. What the fucking gay? Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And um, yeah, just give me you guys, uh, I guess, your thoughts and opinions on uh, 07 Scape, I guess I could say. Um, and yeah, just tell me if you guys are going to play it. That's for sure. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys.